Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial. <clears throat> uh, last time I left off I just created a gun movement in JavaScript and in today's tutorial I'm going to be creating the same script using C Sharp. Let's get started. Uh, click on your C Sharp folder and create a new C Sharp script. Rename this to gun movement C short for C sharp open this in run develop and this time I'm not going to be explaining what to do because we should, by now we should know what to do and if you don't know what the lines of codes are going to do in this script I would recommend that you watch the JavaScript first and then move on to the C sharp so let's define our variables needed public type first and we're going to call this move amount and it's going to be equals to 1 for now public Float, move speed, and I'm just going to leave it as two for now. Public game object gun public move on X. Oops, float move on X public float move on Y public vector free Float, no, not float, sorry, default. Default position. Public, new, nope, uh, vector free. New gun pose. Short for position. Save that off. Public. <coughs> Bool. On and off. Uh, it's going to be a set default value as false. And that's the variables we need. Go into the start function and type default position is equals to our transform dot local position. Save that. Before we do move on, let's just rename the script to uh, the public class to what we named the script. So gun movement C save that. Let's go into Unity and drag your script onto the gun. I'm just gonna turn the old script off. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna drag the game object needed onto the variable that's open for us. Save your project. Go back into model develop. Right, now let's start defining the movement. This is pretty much the same as in um, Java, they ain't much different. So, move on x is equal to input dot get axes mouse x. And we're going to times that by time dot delta time and times that with amount.
Now we're going to do the same for the x axis. Move on x. Oops, the y. Equals input dot get axes. Open bracket mouse y. Dine dot delta time times by move amount. Save that. Now let's start defining the gun's new position. So new gun position equals new vector three. <coughs> And um, my first float is going to be our default x, so default position dot x plus that by move on x, comma, default position dot y plus mouse y, mouse on x, y, yeah. And as for the default Z, it's going to stay the same. So default position dot C and close your bracket. Save it. Good. We've got the new position sorted out. Now we're going to apply this to the gun itself. So gun dot transform dot local position equals vector free dot lerp open bracket. It's going to ask for our first vector free. Which is going to be our gun transform. So gun dot transform dot local position comma and then what the new positions are going to be, which is a new gun pose. So new gun pose. There you go. Comma and then times it with the speed we want it to move in. So which is move speed. Move speed times time dot delta time I'll close your bracket save it let's quickly go back into unity see if we get any error messages nope we are all good run it there we go we've got the gun movement script working in C sharp uh, now let's just add that on and off variable <coughs> so on the start function I'm going to set it as true, so on off equals true. Now we're going to say if on and off is equals equals to true, do this. Else. If it's false, uh, leave it in its default position. So on and off equals false. Then copy this line, paste underneath, and just change the new position to default position. Save it. Make sure the brackets in the right place. Perfect. Go back to Unity. Run it. There we go. So if I switch it off, the gun movement stops. Perfect. Uh, well done, guys. You just created your gun movement in C sharp. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care.